Wow, 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 what an absolutely stunning morning it has been. In this video, I will do some magical fairy tale telephoto landscape slash wildlife slash forest photography. So that was a god awful time of day to get out of bed at 3.30 in the morning. But I think it's worth it because look at all this beautiful, beautiful ground fog I have here in the background. Ah, finally, super, super ethereal conditions. And we are just starting out in the very easy ballpark. Little lone tree, nothing fancy, aperture priority, ISO 100, F9. I could also go F11 just to get a little bit sharper, gives me half a second shutter speed. So I've come by this beautiful little composition with some really crude oak trees. And as you can see here, I'm composing it something like this. So I have this little one here in the middle, which is kind of the subject. And then I have the other ones around it to frame it. Beautiful little forest scene. I actually have caught this in an autumn setting before, but I haven't released that video yet. That is for autumn, and you will see why later. Mornings like these are just my absolute favorites. Being out early, enjoying a sunrise, enjoying the atmosphere. <sighs> I hope you enjoy the video as much as I enjoy making it. And if you want to learn how I compose my photos, of course, get my ebook on composition, minimal text, loads of examples. I cover all the compositional tools, not rules, that you should apply. So your photos drop the aesthetic quality of them. The ebook and the follow-up have minimal text, very easy to read. So you should get to the point fast. And the last chapter summarizes everything I've covered in the ebook and put it together very nicely and orderly. There are links to both the ebooks down in the description of this video. So the sun is now coming up and just have backlit mist. We have Deers in the mist, we have small trees popping up. And when I say we, it's because Alexandra has joined me. She's also come up at like, yeah, before the devil got his shoes on this morning. Whew. Uh, so yeah, mist in the grass, mist everywhere. I, ha I have to take the shot, two seconds. Ugh. No! So this here is exactly what I wanted this morning. I've just been a, li a little bit of like, ah, here in early summer because I missed out on so many foggy mornings. Finally have some beautiful, beautiful low mist here in the deer garden. And oh, this shot here, oh my 
God, you can even like, you can see it even here on the Osmo, how that little tree that I photographed first is standing out. We have two trees in the background, the mist is separating the scene. Then I have a little bit of deers down here in the foreground. And then when they look up, take the shot, and that is just mwah, morning, ethereal, art, yes. Yeah, honestly, if it continues like this, I'll get the majority of my favorite photos this morning. Uh, so I'm literally just standing and shooting and everywhere. Right now, I'm photographing this beautiful old dead oak tree. And simply just having a little bit of mist here in the foreground. Would I prefer a deer here? Of course I would, but there should also be a reason for actually coming back here. Uh, so, so far so good. This shot of the tree is also beautiful. If I get it from another angle than this one, I will also show you, but this one here is oh, beautiful. So it's one of those mornings where I just question myself all the time and because the conditions are just so amazing, each time I make one decision to go one way, I miss out on something that way or that way or that way or that way or that way. So <laughs> it's, <laughs> but anyway, it's a luxury problem because there's good stuff everywhere. So right now I'm shooting towards some big old beautiful oak trees with like a fallen branch in front. And I have these very strong sunbeams coming in underneath it and it looks beautiful. Right now I'm just bracketing the photo just to be sure I get all the details if I want to use them. If not, mm, who cares, but uh, oh, beautiful light. And here is another beautiful long lens tailor photo shot that I actually have an autumn version of also. But now I have a summer version with sunbeams coming in through these old oaks. Absolutely love it. All I need is just a deer there in the background. I guess that's too much to ask for right now. <laughs> But I just absolutely love this forest area. Like if you've played World of Warcraft and you know the starting zone Elven Forest, this is it. This is Elven Forest for me. I would just want to like play the theme in the background, but I will get a copyright strike, so that's not going to happen. But ah, <laughs> oh, this is just so pretty, beautiful. Smack on the wall with one of these photos.
So yes, I am walking and running a little bit, but I'm not that much out of shape. <laughs> it's just so humid that you just can't get, get rid of it. You just get so wet, but it's so worth it. Like, <laughs> this is just like fairy tale has come alive. Like, look at this beautiful, beautiful cluster of old oak trees right here and just sunbeams shining through. Oh, it's gorgeous. Also been photographing over here towards these two old oaks. And I may also try to get a shot of this one. This one is so annoying. Like it's such a pretty tree, but I just can't find a proper angle to it without having too much of the sky in there or this hill over here or yeah. So, uh, I may walk over there and see if I can play around with that one, but oh, just this one here. Wow, wow, wow. So just for this photo here, I've also tried a little bit wider of a shot. I've changed to my Tamron 28 to 200 and I'm at like 80 millimeters. So still still a photo range, but it's just a little bit wider than my 100 to 400. So I'm right now getting a vertical, but I've also got a good bunch of horizontal photos here. <laughs> Wow. So that is definitely one of the blessings of being full-time. So Alexander and I have just been like walking around photographing as you can see on my b-roll and it's always nice to have company and and talk but she had to go to work obviously because it's like Monday but one of the blessings of being full-time landscape photographer is you know just stay around and just enjoy and that is what I'm really really doing right now like I'm photographing the beautiful little thorny-ish tree just this photo only works in these conditions. So you can see here, this one little right here, and then it's just lit there in the background. I still have details in the background, and that's kind of the point. If it was just like a flat sky, or you could see all the way to the horizon, that nah, wouldn't be interesting. But there are like details, there's context in the photo, and it just makes this one so much more interesting. It's also one of these days where I think I'm taking so many photos and making so many snippets where I talk to you guys that I may not show all of them because it will just take forever to put together. <laughs> but this one here, I'm going to show you for sure. So I actually don't always get to say thank you to all of you guys who actually buy my ebooks, buy my Photoshop course, the links to everything down in the description. 
and actually use the sponsorships that I have on these videos because they make this channel work. They make my life work and make sure that I earn some money so I can actually make a living out of this and make these videos for you and this educational content. So I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys. Uh, I'm so happy about this morning because I think I got some absolutely stunning photos <laughs> and I was up at like 3.30 in the morning. What? <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, what an amazing morning. Um, yeah, if you want to learn how to edit your photos, be sure to enroll in my big Photoshop for landscape photographers post-processing course. I've just updated it with new videos to bring it up to date with all the new stuff that Adobe brings out. And I, of course, cover all the tips and techniques that I use to create my photos. Everything from introducing you to the programs all the way through editing with luminosity masks, dodging and burning, focus tagging, focal length blending, working with atmosphere and glow, and all the way through to very complex blending of photos. There is a discount code down in the description of the video. Be sure to use it to get $45 off. That is also money. So like, share, subscribe to watch even more videos about landscape photography. See you next time.